Now is the testing ground. They got to put it all together and perform under stress. We're going to set them up for failure in the first one, and that seems really terrible, but I'm trying to do a nice service and let them know the stakes of when you don't have prevention from be people being able to come, when you don't have those deterrents, when you have no early warning, things can happen so quickly that you really just don't have a chance. You'd immediately be at the mercy of whatever's happening. So we'll throw them in a worst case scenario, and spoiler alert, they're going to fail miserably, and so would I, right? Really, we're trying to build a case and say you really need to do these other things in home security because the answer isn't a gun. You should hold up a gun like someone with a hammer, and everything, once you have a hammer, looks like a nail, and we want to avoid that altogether. Tactics trump skills. Back. Wonderful. I didn't grow up with it in a family where guns were ever around. You have some shocks on that car with a slight bend. You have these concentric circles way outside your home so that they don't even want it. Hey, get up, get up. Yeah, shooting's fun, man. Shocked? They're wearing shock vests, so did we get hit? Yeah. You turned sideways. You're like, no, sir. I'm not, I don't want to play with this. Did it hurt? You good? Yeah, it hurt. All right. So this was an unwinnable scenario, unfortunately. It, you were always going to lose this scenario because, hey, we've got no locks on our doors. We've got no early warning. Our backs to everything. We've got no shutters. And if somebody just comes in and wants to do this worst case kind of scenario, there's nothing you can do about that, right? Is this this pretty common thing for you guys, right? Sit on the sofa, yep. do yep. some cuddling. Yep. <laughs> really, are you always cuddling like that? Usually. You just glorious. <laughs> so, so beautiful. We do have five kids. <laughs> so beautiful. So very good. And you got guns under the cushions or anything? No. No, that's not realistic. So we got to count on our technology, our barriers to entry, so we have a chance. If you don't have other stuff, concentric circle kind of stuff, you're always going to lose this stuff. It's just easy to kill, right? Guns can become kind of like a false sense of security when they're not immediately available to employ. We have that sense of security and we feel like it's this magic charm that keeps bad guys away by nature that it's somewhere buried in a sock drawer. Then that's not true. We got to be able to have them out and ready to go, right? I've always wondered where like, the location of our gun should be. It's in a closet right now. I would like us to be able to think in terms of zone when it comes to reacting to sudden violent encounters. So for instance, out in your you know, shed, your studio out there where you're meeting clients, you need a panic button. So part of your alarm system, I like panic buttons. So one zone for our house is the kitchen. My wife is frequently in and out of there. Ever, all of us are, wife, kids, you know, whatever. And if somebody came in the middle of the day, the chances of her being around that area, open floor plan -ish stuff, is high. So we have in our kitchen, uh, just like kind of a cabinet, we're able to get in that cabinet in a pinch. She runs in and she hits a panic button and grabs the gun. It's all one motion. And sometimes when I'm about to go on the road, we'll do a little micro plan. So we're not like Dawn and Gilly suits and sniper <laughs> rifles and doing lots of training. What we did is years ago, we invested in doing little micro plans. Middle of the day and you hear the door open and the chime opens, but you know the kids are upstairs in quiet playtime. Take action, you know, and, and she'll go through what she might do. Or maybe it's another scenario. The door's locked and she hears a big kick and the door has been kicked open. And I'll expect her to run from like the living room into the kitchen and she hits the panic button, grabs the gun, and she goes to counter ambush spot number one and waits so that they come into their counter ambush spot and she sees them before they see her. And she needs to acquire identifying gauge lest she shoots some neighborhood kid who, did, you know, you still got to take good precaution, but she needs to be able to have a quick plan for every zone of the house. 
What's your plan for if you're in the bedroom? What's your plan for? So in, you get to kind of set your house up however you want. All right, folks, I'm narrating this scenario. Mary is reading and an alert comes through on her phone. She checks it. Motion camera, creepy looking dude moving toward your front door. Panic button, grab gun and move upstairs. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ignore the narrator, here we go. All right, at this point you hear someone push through the front door and you take your counter ambush spot one and hold. Finger off the trigger. Cease fire, cease fire. Index, index. Finger off the trigger. All right, Mary, how do you think you did? Um, I think I got him. <laughs> yeah, I think you did too. Very good. What do you think of our whole plan here? Um, I think it's a great plan. I've wondered what to do um, if in the situation that I was home by myself and how to protect my kids and where I should go and what I should do with them. And um, it's a spot I never would have thought of. A lot of times, especially my wife, she wants to mama bird those kids, which means she, wherever the kids are, I can tell my wife to go anywhere I want, she's going to run toward the kids. So to be able to allow you to do that and get in a place where that you can ambush looking straight down over them, that's really, really good tactics. All we need is early warning. Now, the actual fight went pretty well. You didn't go off too early. You waited until he's fully on the X, and then you just lit him up. Did you look through your sights when you shot? No, <laughs> come on, she's done pistol one and two, so you knew better, you held it down here. I want you in there just like we were doing our sure. actual pistol classes, so that's Instructor John saying, come on, you got this. Now, if the fight had gone poorly for some reason and she hadn't won that, and that's an easy fight for you to win, we would want her to move back to fallback position two, which means she leaves that banister, retreats directly behind her to the left in the adjacent room, and there she'll reinitiate contact if the bad guy gets further up the stairs. What you want to avoid doing is moving toward the kids' rooms because then you have a fight with bullets whizzing past you toward your kids. So you want to draw fire in a successive counter ambush spot number two, and so you're drawing fire while making distance sure. and, and uh, re-ambush. Got it? Got it. Very good. But you got to have that early warning. you got to have the early warning and barriers to entry. Very good. Well done. Thank you. Cool. There's lots of great information. You've been on this cool journey with us, and hopefully you've found some pieces where you're like, man, I really I need to stop putting that piece off. It's real with all the just different things. I mean, you're making a living, and you're raising kids, and you, you've got to make time to eat and do your social life and all the just, all the different insurances that you got, you got kids going through school, whatever, there's always an excuse to, to take security and push it off because not a lot of people are coming for you at all the times, right? But it just takes that one instance. We'd like you to be able to be more prepared and that starts with just a single step, however simple. And so our big encouragement to you is go ahead and pick one thing and just say, I'm gonna do this one thing, and when I'm done, then maybe I'll pick something else, right? It's up to you to defend you and those that you love. So let's go ahead and start right now. And I'm reminding you to train hard and train smart.